Dogs are euthanized in shelters if they are not adopted, and many of those dogs are older and injured or sick. One woman on a mission to save them and let them live out their golden years with love they deserve. Sarah Costa has the details. My sweet girl. Blind, sick, injured, old, really old, or even paralyzed. Come on, mammy. Dogs like little Maverick, who was found paralyzed alongside of the road, have been dropped off, left to die, and disposed of. Heidi Hartman's life passion is helping these underdogs of the dog world. A typical rescue spends 12 weeks waiting in a shelter to be adopted. Special needs and seniors spend nearly four times as long. The older they are, the less chance they're going to have of getting out. Heidi's Polka Dogs is one of the handful of rescues in the U.S. that takes in special needs and super senior dogs. She was a hot mess, yeah. and we couldn't resist her. Lori Sullivan and Melissa Albright adopted a toothless, blind, and deaf chihuahua. We got blue two years ago. They estimated that she was 19 years old at the time. Add on 11 year old Hannah and her pal Bruiser. The upside to adopting an older or special needs dog, their personality is already developed. Most are calmer and they will likely know basic commands. Quieter homes without children are usually best. There can be extra costs that come with growing older. Do you really want that dog to suffer and leave it, live its last days in a shelter with nobody around, no family to love it? For many, the answer is simple. They deserve that second chance at getting, they, they could have a lot of life left in them. Hi, little baby boy. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. For every dog rescued by Polka Dogs, they lose at least $85 after adoption fees. They get all of their funding through donations. And last year, vet bills and medical expenses cost the center over $100,000. I tell you, those rescues are all going to heaven. They have adopted out more than 1,100 senior and special needs dogs so far. If you're interested in helping a senior or a special needs dog, you can always foster one or volunteer here in San Antonio so that they can get the love and attention they deserve. A local company, a local nonprofit does that here called God's Dogs. And they're those big dogs, those hard to place dogs. Wow. So good for them. Yeah. Nice to see those dogs living the way they should at the end. That's All right, let's right. take it downtown. It's Mike and Fiona, oh. and it's food. Oh, Ooh, that's yes. right. We know if you're hungry, this is where you stop to watch for the great food on this show. Yes, Cassie Ramsey from Esquire Tavern is going to be doing some wonderful beef short ribs, and that's the first step in the process. What's going on over there? So we are sous -vide these. They've been going for about 24 hours now. Uh, and that's just getting warmed up and semi-cooking in hot water, right? Right, and then we're going to sear it in a very hot pan, which you have over there. And we are going to get some color on there some and tighten up the meat a little bit. And there's an opportunity for you to try these big events coming up this weekend. All right, for dessert, you need something really tasty. How about some brownies? These are actually healthy brownies. Yep, Jen is going to tell us what the secret ingredient is. Plus, it's a new TikTok trend that's cute and delicious. A local bakery shows us how it's done. All right, looking for a really fun activity. And guess what? You don't need any artistic ability at all, which is why we love this. And we are heading out to the Rustic Brush. Actually, they are here. We're going to be making these beautiful signs, perfect for your front porch. Uh, the deck, a uh, housewarming gift, anything like that. charcuterie nice. board. The yes. yes, believe it or not. Indeed. And here's a way you can give back to the troops with something you already have in your home. It's a simple little thing, but boy, it's going to mean a whole lot. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. Stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Shorts and t-shirts today, we're at 82 up to 86 this afternoon, even warmer next few days. Uh, frontal battery comes through tomorrow, does not cool us down, but brings in drier air for your Wednesday. Some fairly dry air Thursday, 295, a chance for some storms along an east of I-35 by Friday afternoon, guys. Thank you, Justin, and thanks for watching the News at Noon with us. Impressed with the outdoor cooking grill they have down there. Yeah? And what they were putting on it. Well, you're just always hungry. And then some cupcakes. SA Live starts right now. Hey, today on SA Live, it's a brownie recipe with secret ingredient that will get your kids eating healthier without knowing they are.
Plus, it's a new TikTok trend that's cute and delicious. A local bakery shows us how it's done. And fun and easy ways to personalize your own spring decor while having a party with your friends at the same time. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Ooh, I hope you are hungry because we have got some good looking beef short ribs going into a sizzling hot pan right now. It smells great. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. Uh, and I'm Fiona Garcia. Well, there is a fun event this weekend. You can go ahead and grab your friends for it and enjoy some great food. It's outdoors and it's hosted by the Good Kind and Ivy Hall events called Evenings at the Ivy. Yes, and joining us right now is Chef Cassie Ramsey with the Esquire Tavern, who's going to be one of the chefs at the event. And this is the actual dish that you are making. First of all, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. All right, what are we making here? So we are making beef short ribs. They're gonna be glazed in a black garlic barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna um, finish it off with some wilted mustard greens in a champagne vinegar and honey vinaigrette. Then oh. it's all finished off with crispy shallots and a black garlic sea salt. And you made this barbecue sauce, right? Yes. Ooh. Um, and can, can you say a little of what's in it? So there's some pasilla chilies, there's ancho chilies, there's obviously some acid in there. It is tomato based and lots of black garlic. Okay. All right, so these, I mean, they're the big hunks of meat in here, but they, as we showed uh, earlier, have been cooking in that, that warm water bath right now. So right. all we have to do is just put a sear on it, right? Right, we're just getting some color, some texture. They're already hot. Um, so that's basically all we need to do. Then we're gonna baste them in the barbecue sauce, and okay. then we'll get started with getting our vinaigrette hot. Okay. So are there any do's and don'ts when cooking beef short ribs? Um, I don't think that you have to be so particular, especially if you're sous vide them first. They get real nice tender, they stay juicy because basically all you're doing is just seasoning them with salt and pepper. Then they cook in their own juices, so they're literally taking all of that back in. Um, then as far as searing goes, you just want to get a little color and take them right off because you don't want to overcook them as well. They'll get tough. All right, so we've got those on there right now. Okay. And I'm going to put base them. this pan over here. And then we've got the, this is kind of a like on a salad, so we've got a vinaigrette going here, right? Right. So we're getting this hot because we still want to keep the texture of the mustard greens. And we're just going to wilt it with the hot vinaigrette instead of cooking our mustard greens all the way down. So why pair it with mustard greens? I really like mustard greens. I think that they're really an interesting flavor. They are bitter and sweet at the same time almost. Um, they pair really well with a very acidic vinaigrette. There's not a lot of oil in this vinaigrette, but there is some brown mustard seed. Um, just a little bit of olive oil, but a lot of champagne vinegar and a lot of honey. I asked you earlier when we were kind of chit-chatting a little bit, and you know, you asked the chef, what's your specialty and all that, and you said you didn't have one, but you had a really good take on being a chef. So I, I think as a chef, you shouldn't have a favorite dish that you love to serve people. I think that you should love everything that you're putting on the plate. Give every single dish that you're serving somebody the same amount of love so that they're getting the same experience whether they're vegetarian or they're having a short rib in front of you. Okay, okay. what's going to be going on evenings at the Ivy? So we are doing a modern, chic, sort of picnic style food festival. Um, there's nine chefs. Some of the best in San Antonio. We also have Sylvia Coates from Austin, Texas. Um, we're just going to be out there having a great time and we want you guys to join us. It's, it's a benefit for uh, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, also heard um, as well. And there's going to be so much food on the menu, right? Oh, there's nine chefs and oh, we are Whoa. serving Good sized portions. Good size These portions. aren't just little bites, guys. We're <laughs> serving portions. All right, so the greens go down first, and then those beautiful short ribs go on there. Right. And uh, it, you said it's coming up a week from, s or this coming Sunday, I should this say. Su this Sunday, yes, April 11th. All right, and how do folks get tickets? And So you can go online, um, uh, Ivy Hall, the Ivy Hall website, and then just click on evenings at Ivy Hall, and tickets will be there right there at the bottom. 
And, and we hope to see you guys out there. And aside from these beautiful short ribs, do you know what some of the other chefs are going to be making? Of course, I, yours is going to be the best, though, right? I don't want to say that. We have some, <laughs> I mean, we have Jen Reisman. I think, in my opinion, she's one of the best pastry chefs in San Antonio. Um, so I don't want to say that my dish is going to be better than hers. I, I'm a really big fan, fan of Jen. Let's do it. We'll take a taste here. All right. Where can folks go for information on Esquire Tavern and evenings mm. at the Ivy? So Esquire Tavern, you can just uh, visit EsquireTavernSA.com or um, for the event, just evenings at the Ivy, buy tickets there at the bottom. There's all the information that you need. Um, tickets are 175 but like I said, nine, nine chefs. Nine chefs. Nine yeah. chefs. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that barbecue sauce on mm -hmm. there and those short ribs. Wow. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. All right, more information. Head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cassie, thank, thank you, you so very much. Nice Absolutely. Meeting you. Thank you, guys. All right, well, now it's time for dessert. And you know, the best kind of dessert is guilt free, right? Or mostly guilt free? Why not? Of course. Jen <laughs> is on with some hidden ingredients for brownies that have a really healthy twist and helping you with some of these swap outs. Take a look. Today we're getting help from Dr. Bryce Wild. He also has a recipe to share. He's a best-selling author. He has three books. He's been featured on Dr. Oz and the Discovery Channel, among others. His expertise is focused on natural health, and I'm glad he's joining us today with his daughter. And he has a recipe with some healthy swap outs, right, Dr. Bryce? Welcome. You got it. You got it, Jennifer. My uh, kitchen helper, Zaya, my daughter's home from school today, learning online as usual, but she's helping me make the healthiest brown you can imagine and they still taste exactly as you would expect them to taste maybe even more decadent now there's a few things I want you to keep in mind some simple switch outs when you're making your standard brownie recipe the first get rid of the artificials they hand me over this might be a little bit more expensive but it's so worth it so switch out the artificial for natural vanilla all right the second one a lot of folks don't necessarily know this but cocoa is different than cacao in terms of its antioxidant will be you won't taste the difference so ditch the, the cocoa and go for the cacao, Jennifer. Okay, you're already making me feel better. The stress is lifting from this mom because <laughs> I would like my kids to try something a little more healthier without them knowing either. That's key. Well, we got to sneak these ingredients in. So why don't we reveal our most, no, top four most important healthifiers as it comes to these brownies, all right? So Zaya, again, we're going to switch out over here. This is red Malaysian palm fruit oil. You see how nicely dark red that is? That's because it's got beta carotene and tocotrienols. And the, what we're switching that out for is this really gross vegetable oil. See how light that is? No yeah. nutrients in that. It'll actually also make you gain weight, Jennifer, the vegetable oils. Now the second switch out, thanks, Aya. So black beans are gonna be switched out, believe it or not, for chocolate chips. No yes, way. black <laughs> beans. For Black chocolate beans. chips. Instead of chocolate chips. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can't tell the difference. And, and you've got a few ingredients on your end that I'd like to switch right. people out for as well. What do you have there? Ooh. Ooh, Avocado. <laughs> yes. That is going to make him so rich and tasty, and I promise you don't taste the avocado in the uh, recipe. And of course, all the recipe details are going to be on salive.com. What else do you have there? And, ooh, some oats. Oats. So instead of this really gross, bad for you refined flour, okay, the standard, you know, baking uh, flour, let's switch it out for oats and oat flour. And of course, that's going to go in a pulverizer and become, again, equally as delicious but so much more nutritious all right and it's real simple you know let's push the button on that thing once you put those oats in there all you're gonna do is grind that up and that becomes pulverized flour so you know those oats are just gonna become flour Jennifer Wow. okay well you're blowing my mind with all of these tips and the kids can't tell the difference right I want to ask your daughter yay or nay can you tell the difference when you tried them we made these last night okay with all the ingredients that we just described enough for six of these why don't you go ahead, and you've had these before, but be honest on camera. How does that taste? <laughs> it tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid And look at this picture of health. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And yes, you're right. We have this full recipe on salive.com right now. 
uh, the healthy swap outs and quickly thank you guys so much but it is stress awareness month as well do you have any final tips for people that are, as we head into april zaya my daughter knows about this deep box breathing it's called box which will go through different corners within the box and here's how it goes you're going to take a deep breath for a count of four in you're going to hold it for four seconds then you're going to breathe out through pursed lips for four seconds and then you're going to breathe in again for four seconds and you're going to hold for four seconds so you keep that uh, pattern up it's called the box breath four in four hold four out four in four hold four out you will decompress and de-stress in a heartbeat wherever you are driving on the freeway or at home stressed out over the work or the kids being at home jennifer it works well thank you guys so much again you are author of three different books you have your website lots of resources recipes and thank you for sharing this one today thank you both I appreciate it. No, no, enjoy it and eat well. Again, essaylive.com. Just click the as seen on Essay Live tab for more on Dr. Bryce Wild. And that recipe is on our homepage right now. Mm. Hey, I was trying to do that I breathing know. thing and relax. <laughs> okay, so we want to know, spill the beans. What is your trick to get your family to eat healthy? My wife is starting to, to make some really, really healthy type stuff. Your two-year-old, though, right I, now, she'll right eat anything, right? Right now, she'll right? eat anything, even sardines. <laughs> I used to try and sneak in some of the, the cauliflower with the right. rice. They spot that a mile away. <laughs> the boys would right. anyway, well, So let, let us, us know. know at, at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. And we want to know some of those secrets. All right, still ahead, it is a fun activity for kids or adults. Plus, you can create your own home decor from it. More on the San Antonio hot spot in just a bit. And TikTok has a new trend, and this one involves cute cookies. We try it out with a local baker. You think these flowers are pretty, just wait till you see what we are making here. Baked goods are always a hit, but even more fun paired with a TikTok trend. <laughs> yes, you, TikTok. You just sounded so hip and cool. It's <laughs> a TikTok trend. <laughs> and I emphasize TikTok. <laughs> Lauren Garcia Baker, an owner of Commando Bakery, is here to help us with spring cupcake designs. Spring, yes. I'll and the what. TikTok trend. And the TikTok <laughs> trend, yes. I've been looking at these ever since she set this out. These are some of the most gorgeous baked goods, decorating, I mean, it's incredible looking at these. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's nice to look at them, but it's better to eat them, right? And one of the biggest things is uh, picnics. Yes. People want to get out now. We don't want to be stuck indoors. We've been stuck indoors for too long now. So uh, kind of just looking at some things that we could do for the spring. Um, so we have some cupcakes we're going to decorate today. Okay. We're gonna... And who doesn't want to decorate a cupcake today? Yeah, but... seems, I mean, they look so <laughs> delicate and, and amazing. It, it looks like it takes about yes. really, really hard to do. But you Not said no. hard to do. It's actually okay. a piece of cake. Ah. If you can ah. jump on my puns. <laughs> I just got your jokes. Okay. Okay. So right. what you're using is what we call a Russian piping tip. Okay. And so you're going to put it perpendicular to the cupcake, press down, and lift up gently and just pull. I don't know if you can get a shot I, of that. I, I want to watch right you do yours first okay. before I try. So <laughs> I do. You're good at this. I okay. need to watch your so technique. Just right so like press this. down perpendicular to the cupcake and then gently lift up to bring up the the, yep, and just pull it. There you go. Okay. You're gonna keep doing that as many times to create as many little flowers as you like. Why am I nervous? Ooh, there you go. See? Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> it, it takes some height. finessing. It takes okay, some wait. finessing. Yeah, so you don't got, press you down. Just, at this. There you okay. go. Now lift up with. There you oh, go. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Okay. And that's just what you do, just to make those really pretty flowers. Kind of gives you like a. I don't know, secret garden theme for oh, your next. Oh, she yellow in here too. It's like, ah, oh, cool. There is a hidden color in the middle of the purple buttercream if you keep going. Look at that. Look one at has that. yellow, oh, one I has pink. It. It's <laughs> almost like you've got, it's almost like a, like a, an ombre type yes. Yes. thing going on. And oh. what I did in the middle between the two of you, if you want to put some green leaves, I actually left you a little green buttercream on there. Oh yeah, okay. And the Where? flavor that you're oh. actually decorating right now is my lotus biscuit, or my, um, cookie butter flavor cupcake a and you're actually holding it correctly flavor. so press oh. it against the cupcake <laughs> and you're going to press and then pull it out yep press it against the cupcake can you cupcake press and pull, pull. perfect oh look at that oh my god i'm making a leaf 
Yeah. So the little Russian tips, do you get them <laughs> online at the grocery store? Where? You know, you can find them at the grocery store. You can find them at Michael's. You can get them online if you prefer not to go to the store and pick them up. Yeah. Um, I just got some plastic ones. They're great if you ever want to do like a cupcake decorating party. Easy, you know, not too expensive. Original Russian baking tips are a little bit more expensive, but it's nice to kind of get a little thing where you can okay. create something fun. This is some of the coolest stuff I think we've I, ever done And you here. did an amazing job. I love it. Okay. I love these little cupcakes. Oh, look at you. <laughs> with the yellow I know, that's here, what I'm talking about. She snuck that in there. So, now, if than what I do. You are the creativity. You said if somebody gives you an idea, like what your kids like, if it's Star sure. Wars or something, and you just said, let me. Let me run with run. it. Okay. Yes, I, I really, you know, my, my biggest thing about cakes, cakes are my bread and butter. I love to decorate cakes. So if you tell me my kid loves Boba Fett from Star Wars, I can create a Boba Fett helmet cake for you. Um, someone said green and avocados, and this is what I came up with. So. <laughs> That is Not an avocado cake, but still has the, the feeling of avocados. And just a few other things to show you. So right now, what's real popular on TikTok are like meringue cookies. It came okay. out of Malaysia. There's okay. a couple yeah. of things going around. And literally, if you ever want to have a tea party, just throw okay. it in your coffee. So it kind of floats go. around okay. there. All right, here yeah. we go. And, and then it just floats float. And, then and you as you're just sipping your tea or coffee, it'll eventually dissolve and add a little sweetness to your cup. Oh. And it's just whipped sugar and, and yeah. uh, egg whites. So. And the other thing I'm dying to try that she made, this is a Rice Krispie treat right here that is covered in... Lemon. Lem it's a chocolate, uh, lemon chocolate, white chocolate. Okay. But it's a little secret. It's a browned butter with sea salt. Rice Krispie treat. Ooh. Okay. Take that bite because I know you've been waiting. You've been, he's been waiting. He's been waiting for that. Okay, so if folks want to order, yes. when do they have to? When do you get it? You know, uh, right now I'm booking about two to three weeks out. So okay. on my website, commandobakery.com, I have a link to Instagram, Facebook, and I have a form. So they can fill it out, tell me what they need, the date they need it, and I can respond and chat with them through the website. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Lauren you. Garcia of Commando Bakery. Thumbs up from the Elster <laughs> Hagen over here. Yes. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. Make your own personalized spring home decor with help from a local business that takes the stress away from doing your own workshop projects. And they want you to love your smile. Get the teeth you want from a local doctor that is also offering a deal on a complete smile consultation. Well, need something to make you smile? There's an expert that does just that. Dr. Alfonso Menares reconstructs people's smiles so they can live better lives with all on fours. And we're out here at Stone Ridge Dental and joining us is Dr. Menares. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you again. Man. Okay, all on fours, how long do they last? You know, we, we try for this to be a treatment that's gonna last forever. We want these patients to live the rest of their lives without dental problems by replacing their teeth with dental implants. So that's our goal. You know, they should they should have a, a mouth free of problem for the rest of their lives. So when you get this full mouth reconstruction, what's the downtime after that and recovery period? That's a great question. You know, 90% of the work happens in one day. They come to the office, they get sedated, they walk out of here with a brand new smile and a healthy mouth, but obviously the body doesn't feel that day. So, you know, while 90% of the work is done that day, within a few days, they can come back to their normal life and activities. And in the next three or four months, they see me a few times until they graduate with a brand new smile for the rest of their lives. And this is the great solution to wearing dentures, right? Absolutely. You know, denture patients struggle for the rest of their life. This is a big permanent solution for those patients that have suffered with dentures and have no teeth. And instead of just talking about it, we have pictures uh, that show exactly what he was talking about. The first patient with a beautiful smile. These are great stories. You know, this lady um, had a long time relationship with her dentist. She came from out of town and, and her dentist said, you know, I know somebody that can help you. He tried really hard to keep her teeth healthy, but it was at the point that there was nothing else that could be done with normal dentistry. So she came, got the old on four and look how she looks now. She looks mm, super young, super happy and she's just ready to enjoy the rest of her life without dental pain and suffering. The next gentleman, he's just a, another wonderful person that was just ready to enjoy life, but he was missing a lot of teeth. He was very unfortunate with, with a bad dentition. He came to the office, got the olum four done, and now he can enjoy life. He has a healthy mouth, he can eat. He, his self-esteem is wonderful, and, and he just is ready to be who he really is now, that he can smile and enjoy time with his family. 
And last? Last is a, it's a wonderful example of a beautiful lady that just didn't like her smile. She looked, you know, the teeth were worn down. She had gum disease. She was missing all her back teeth. And she really, she's a really beautiful lady. She just didn't want to smile. So we replaced her teeth with dental implants and we were able to create in this blank canvas a beautiful smile. We chose the color, the size, the shape of all her teeth. And now she's happy, she's wonderful, and smiling and, and just living life to the fullest. And like you said, aside from no more pain and problems like that, physical problems, the mental, the self-esteem and and what's better than smiling? Nothing, nothing. The smile can change the world for sure. It uh, And it's changed their worlds as well. Absolutely. Well, the first 10 people to call will get Dr. Menard's Love Your Smile offered. It comes with a free consultation, complete smile consultation. That's $350 in savings. Just call 210-610-5479. And for more information, visit the website, ImplantSanAntonio.com. Dr. Menard's, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Let's get to crafting. It's a San Antonio workshop that's perfect for parties and events. Plus, you get a personalized project at the end. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, spring is a time for woodworking and workshop projects. Yes, indeed. And why not personalize your project with help from Christine Munoz from the Rustic Brush here in San Antonio. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, uh, these are such fun hi, things to they do. They really are. I, I always enjoy uh, teaching workshops and helping people create things that they love to put up at their homes. And it is so simple to do. And like we were talking about, you do not have to be able to draw a straight line or a curved correct. line or anything right. else, right? That's correct, because we use stencils. So I know personally I can't draw a straight line. So nope. uh, <laughs> So this, all the blue on here, as you can see, is the stencil. Correct. And about how many of these do you have? Uh, we print them individually. So anytime somebody um, books some, a workshop online, they tell us exactly what stencil that they want, and then we print that for them specifically. So it's it's custom order. Uh, we even offer uh, custom design. So if there's something you specifically want we don't have on our website, we can create it for you. So when I want to come there and, and make one that says Fiona is great. We can <laughs> do that. You can do that. <laughs> How far in advance do I have to? Um, we request uh, at least uh, 24 hours in advance on the customs so that way we can create them, get your approval on them, and then make sure we have it printed in time for your workshop. And of course, you can bring groups, right? That's correct. Yep. And we also offer um, we're BYOB, so you mm -hmm. can bring in food and drink. And if you wanted to have a party, you can bring in decorations. Um, so we're full service. And I would assume parties, uh, team building for, for companies, something like yes. that would be fantastic exactly. for something like this. Exactly. Just exactly. Yep. Uh, we've had a lot of Christmas team building. Um, we have birthday parties, we've had bachelorettes, baby showers, all different kinds of um, fun techniques. People come in, they like to, to leave with something. And this is so cool because let's just kind of show off, this is a charcuterie board, right? So this is, is our it? farmhouse tray. We've okay. partnered with another local um, small business owner. She comes in and we guide you guys through building that farmhouse tray. And then after the farmhouse tray is completed, she guides us through arranging the board uh, she'll show us the different meats she has and cheeses and how to arrange them, what goes well with what. Uh, we actually have one on the 18th. It's going to be a spring themed one. So she's talking about possibly bringing in edible flowers so we can make it look really pretty. Um, and the whole workshop includes the tray and everything that puts everything the tray. Everything Exactly. Yeah. All the food, you, all of it. You just supply the wine, champagne or whatever yes, you want to Yes, you bring whatever you want to drink while you're making it uh, or snack on while you're making it and then you go home with a finished product. And I like how you said people like to go home with something. Exactly, so, yes. Because this is just a latex paint, so it dries pretty quickly. It's a quickly. latex paint, it dries quickly. Uh, our workshops last about three hours, but it goes very fast. Okay. Um, and then at the end of it, you're going to go home with a finished product, and we put the hanging materials on it too. So if it's a door hanger like what you're working on now, we'll drill the holes in there. <laughs> so you can take it home and hang it right away. I know I get excited when I finish a product. So. Uh, same thing with the wall designs, we'll put backings on them. Uh, you can pay extra to make the round board over here into a Lazy Susan or add um, handles to make it into a tray. 
So it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm going to stop there so I don't get into what, what are I some painted, of your more popular, uh, yeah, like when people come in that they typically make? Uh, it really depends. Uh, my, our, my most popular would be a single small board because mm -hmm. now we started offering where you can add frames to it. So it, it's really pretty, kind of butches it up a notch. A lot of people like the round board as well and the door hangers. Uh, this round one turned out super pretty and you can see we have different techniques where we do painting back, staining the back, and then painting on top. And then for the round one with all the flowers, um, we have the ombre technique kind of going on with the white flowers. And we'll show you all of those different techniques with the oh. distressing and the whitewashing and everything. Yeah, you can see right here that little kind of the shading almost, yes. like, if you will. Yeah, the where we added in, in the pink and with the white. It, and every. Everybody gets to pick what they want from their stain colors to their paint colors, and we have so much to choose from. It's it's completely customizable. Yeah, it's perfect if you had, uh, you know, uh, say a housewarming gift mm -hmm. for somebody that's got a, a place out in the exactly. country uh, exactly. on your back deck mm -hmm. or the front porch. This one is fantastic. Yes, that's the, so our cool. porch planner box. So you can add. Um, any kind of plant you want in there uh, and we have tons of different designs so you can make it so that way it matches with your front porch your front door it's a lot of fun something for the kids to do too with mother's day in a exactly. couple of months making something for right grandma. yes you can definitely do that and we can customize it um so if you call her grandma mima any of that you just let us know we can make it and people even you know like the established exactly whatever year they mm -hmm. were married yep. last <laughs> names the year they're married uh it's a fun gift we just had a bachelorette party um not too well bridal shower i guess not too long ago and they were making things for her to have at her new home after she's married with okay. her new last name and do you uh how far in advance do mm -hmm. i need to make reservations let's say if it's just me and fiona go in there it would be at least 24 hours okay. um so that way again we can make sure we have the stencils printed out we have all the wood you need because it is raw you'll be having raw materials um, and we actually do use power tools for some of the, Ooh, the power tools, hey. yes, <laughs> for some of the projects like putting the boards together, screwing handles on, that type of thing. So, Alrighty. and you can see it's really nice and clean when you take it off. And then any of those little pieces left behind, we'll weed them out. We have little special tools, so we have Excellent. everything you need. It's okay. fantastic. Well, if you want more information on the rustic brush, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Christine, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you guys. All right, next, help support the troops by sending them your lightly used books. We're going to tell you how you can get involved. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you're doing some spring cleaning, maybe you want to clean out your bookshelves. We know where you can take all those gently used paper books and support a really, really good cause. It's called Operation Paperback. It's collecting new and gently used books to send to Americans serving in the military all around the world. It's just, just one, one, it's just one way to let them know you care. Join San Antonio's only book drive for adults by dropping off your newer, gently used books, not kids' books, just for grown-ups, at all five San Antonio gun dealerships and three collision centers. They're looking for adult fiction, mysteries and crime novels, history books, self-help books, and books about leadership. They also need medical textbooks, biographies, books on current affairs, travel guides, and puzzle books like crosswords and brain teasers. So help us help our troops by giving them something good to read. Once again, your donated books are being accepted at all five San Antonio gun dealerships and three collision centers. And for more information, visit gungives.com. Operation Paperback is powered by the Gun Auto Group. All right, stop the snoring and fight your sleep apnea with the latest gear to help you sleep through the night. Have we got deals for you? Welcome to KSATdeals.com. And for all you foodies out there, we have a great deal today for you, an air fryer from Paula Dean, and we have an easy recipe with our great friend, Chef Tattoo. Welcome, Chef. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you too. So, how do you like the Paula Dean air fryer so far? So at first, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, I don't even have a microwave. Uh, but the first time I used it, it blew my mind how fast it is, how accurate it is, and the work it does. So I came up with something, I was trying to figure out uh, what is there that I can make to see how good it is. And I like to barbecue, I like doing the bacon wrapped jalapeno things, mm -hmm. you know, but what's the next thing? So I decided, I figured out, hey, let's do uh, avocado and jalapeno instead, let's season it, and they came out great. You know, everyone loved them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 
you know, the same thing if you're like a vegetarian, you kind of like want to watch what you eat, you could always use, you know, the fake bacon mm -hmm. and do the same process as well. Got it. So you have some there that are made and you're going to show us just how easy it is yes. to wrap this. And I love the little twist that you always put on your recipes, Chef. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so all I got is bacon, a slice of avocado, jalapeno. You could always add more jalapeno if you want to. And I like to season it with tahini because that's who I am. It looks and then awesome. uh, we just wrap it like this, mm -hmm. and then that's all you got to do. And the cool thing about this air fryer, you told me it has 10 preset functions that makes it super easy to use, right? Yes, it's easy, it's fast. And the cool thing is that with all these presets, you can always, the, the, the fun thing about cooking is just a playing around, seeing what you can make. Yes, got it. All right, so these will go in for nine minutes, and then we will have our delicious avocado poppers, avocado bacon wrapped poppers. Avocado fries. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right, so let's put those in, and I'm excited to try that. All right, let's try it. You just then, set the time. Yeah, we set it. We can turn it. Oh, we gotta turn it on first. So is that? Set your temperature. 400, yep. And then we do the nine minutes. That's it. And it's not hot, so it's cool the whole time. So you don't have to worry about your kids burning themselves or anything like that. And with the magic of television, nine minutes later, our avocado fries are done. In our yes, Paula Deen air fryer. Super excited to see how these look. Ta-da! And a healthier option too, right, Chef? Because you're not using any extra oil or anything like that, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, you know, right now we're using bacon, but you can always use, you know, <laughs> other stuff. And it's cool because, like I said earlier, it's it's easy to clean and nothing's going to get stuck, whatever you try to do. Perfect. Now you can dip these in ranch and there you have it, Chef. Thank you so much. Again, the retail price for this Paula Deen air fryer, $299. You can get it with a case at deal for $159.99. KSATDeals.com for more information. Well, after the recent power outages, of course, a lot of us did not get a good night's sleep, and especially folks with a CPAP machine because they couldn't plug them in. There is a device, however, that can help you sleep a lot easier, and it does not require electricity. And here to tell us all about it is Veronica Murillo, sleep technician at the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you guys doing? Doing fantastic. Okay, first of all, for people that don't know, what exactly is sleep apnea and what is this device? So sleep apnea is when you have pauses in breathing and it can happen hundreds of times while you're sleeping, right? So a lot of the times, a lot of people complain that they wake up feeling tired even though they had eight hours of sleep. And that could be one of the biggest signs that could be going on, um, snoring, you know, and, and a lot of the times when your partner tells you, hey, you were snoring last night and then all of a sudden I didn't hear you breathe. And then you started breathing again, what happened? So that could be um, a lot telling you right now that your partner is saying, wait, something else is going on besides your snoring and it could be very, very dangerous. So what is the device that, it's very simple, right? So the net plug in. Offer, I'm glad that you mentioned um, the CPAP because I had a lot of people this past winter storm uh, telling me that they got woken up at four o'clock in the morning when the power went off and their CPAP stopped working, right? So they were very alarmed, choking, kind of gasping for air. And so we offer actually an alternative to a CPAP uh, for those with mild to moderate sleep apnea. And in this case, I would say a backup, right? For for you to have just in case you have those power outages or if you travel. It's called a mandibular advancement device. I have it right here, okay? So what it does is it anchors to your upper and lower teeth. You're able to open and close, very comfortable because it's custom fit. And what it does is it brings that lower jaw forward by opening up the airway naturally as opposed to the CPAP forcing air down your nose and your throat to keep that airway open. Because sleep apnea can really affect not only just feeling tired, but really affect your life, right? And can be dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It could be dangerous. Now, it does affect everyone differently, but most of the people that come into the office complaining for, you know, sleep apnea, they've even fallen asleep on the road and, and caused an accident, which is super dangerous. And also, when your oxygen levels drop, your heart has to work 
harder and faster to get those oxygen levels up. A lot of people can suffer from headaches, depression, and, and even a stroke. Now, the device is covered by some insurances, correct? And then you also have a special, right? Yes, it is covered by most insurances. And right now we have the first 25 callers get a free consultation. They come into the office, we can verify the insurance, we can find out uh, what their out of pocket's going to be, and we can guide them to the right direction to get a better night's sleep. Okay, once again, like Veronica was talking about, the first 25 people to call will be able to get a free sleep consultation. That's $200 in savings. Just call 210-598-8200. And for more information, visit StopSnoringTX.com. Veronica, nice chatting with you. Great information. Thank you. Tomorrow on Say Live, get a taste of Puerto Rico without getting on a plane. We're checking out this family-owned spot where you can find traditional re recipes made from scratch with lots of love. Plus, have you ever turned your favorite beer into a dessert? We're celebrating National Beer Day by creating a one-of-a-kind treat with ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. It's all tomorrow at 1, right here on SA Live. All right. Well, I know Mike is just getting the finishing touches on his creation over there, right? This is from yeah. the rustic brush. The little stencils, mm -hmm. and there's just one little piece left in here. So these were the ones that we finished up, and like here's one of the bigger pieces of the, the stencil. And during our segment a couple of minutes ago, then this is just um, latex paint, so it dries very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that, that came out And easy nice. to do, of course, with just stencil. I mean, look at this creation right here. Still have to kind of just pull up some of the mm. little pieces so that you can see the detail and the go. leaves and things like that. But this is some of the stuff that you can make when you head on over to the Rustic Brush, and you can come by yourself, couples, you can bring a group, it's BYOB, and they provide everything you need. Yeah. You know, it's it's great for um, team building. Yeah. Whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of fun here. And find the uh, website on our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Uh, we're doing beer tomorrow? Yeah. National Beer, beer Day. Yeah. <laughs> and we say more. The show will be off the rails.